Huh? Where are we? We are in Las Vegas. Las Vegas. We're in the ex. Well, the map says Excalibur, but we're not in Excalibur. We're in the Luxor. The Luxor. So the view we're staring at Red Reef, Red Reef Canyon, or it's actually a national park. So Drake has a great view. So I'm pretty stoked. Now we're about to go get. You're gonna get the lay of the land. The thing about the thing is that no one knows what the thing is until they get the thing. This is the future. The future is now. Best. Holy crap. Okay. That is funny. That is funny, man. When it dips down like that, it's insane. <laughs> Look at him, he's so dumb. Okay. All right, so we're on. Okay, so we just we just left the um, CES morning. Was it the morning after the morning summit? Yeah, it's it just kind of a recap of the newest stuff at 2017 CES. Yeah, presented, hosted by Viacom and right, and then the company Omni, Omnicom. Omnicom, which sounds like evil corporations. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> okay, just want to make sure we're good to go. Um, yeah, so they did a uh, best of CES, um, which had like five categories. That's correct. <laughs> the worst of which was smartifying the everyday. Fucking roll my eyes at that. Um, Sniglets. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want me to get my thing up? Sound blur. Sound blur. Um, 
So what were your thoughts? Well, I was very impressed with the television. The television yeah. that is the is the width of a of a key. No, but the only thing that has no ports. Right. And the sound bar, which is probably as thick as a brick underneath it, is has all the connections. Yeah. So, but the idea that you can use magnets and you put it on the wall and you can move it anywhere you want, and the fact that it's flat like that with the technology and the picture quality is just amazing. Yeah. I, that that one impressed me the most. The scariest one was the little Japanese robot. <laughs> Don't leave me, don't leave me. Oh my, that's like Yachigumi, those little things on the keychains the kids used to have 20 years ago. Tamagotchi? You, you had to feed it, right? Yep. At a certain time where it would cry and cry and cry. It's, it's the same thing. It's, well, but it's even worse because like the Japanese society has such issues with intimacy and reproduction that they have like negative population growth pretty severely. And now you have the older people getting older and they're building these robots for companionship which is basically that movie with Will Smith AI, not AI, um, iRobot, yeah. where you, a robot in every house will be your companion. So so if, you f if I'm falling and I can't get up, a robot will pick you up, Right. which is kind of scary as opposed to... Yes and no, I, mean, I, there's, I think there be, can be a lot of benefits to it, but, but you, see, you see people who are not having relationships with real humans, basically. I think that's... That's true, that is concerning. concerning. Um, I think what's... <laughs> withdrawing people, withdrawing even more. What alarmed me the most, I liked the device that you plug in between the wall and the router, which blocks uh, traffic. Ad, ad block? Traffic. Yeah, it's basically an ad blocker. Yeah. Literally everyone in there was booing. <laughs> Wait! Like, we're gonna, uh, first thing we're gonna do is destroy it. <laughs> ah, we don't care about people's privacy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just kind of weird. because What do like, you think about that shopping cart that follows you around and uh, makes, makes suggestions of what you're supposed to buy? The, it's... That's scary, but what, what's going to happen, I think, is it's going to get smaller. So you're gonna have things following around you and you just don't even realize it. Um, that's what I did with like the Amazon Go store or Amazon, whatever the, the store was. You could, you could walk in, pick things up off the shelves and walk out. Um, and then they charge you later. Exactly, it's tied to your Amazon. Well, that's, that's a great idea for grocery shopping. Yeah. No more cashiers. You just take it home and you're scanning as you go out. Well, no more shoplifting. Shoplifters will be charged as they run out of the store. Yeah. You've just been charged for those, that, that egg track you just stole, crap! You know, you have to put it in a protective bag while you shoplift so it won't be seen, whoa. So there, there's security that goes with the anti-security because yeah. as the consumers, as the retailers figure out innovation, the thieves are right behind it creating their own innovation, which is amazing. Exactly. I wonder if they have their own co conferences too. Yeah, they have like DEF CON and... Well, they do it on the underground in the back in the back lots. There's, there's all like white hacker, white hat like hacking and things like that. But black hat. Um, I I was a little concerned about. I mean, every a lot of stuff that they were saying. I'm thinking Minority Report, might, like the like the little gloves, the little fingertip things that, that you can actually shoot a basket or hold a gun instead of you know doing it with your controller. That is Johnny Mnemonic with uh, Keanu Reeves, where he had the gloves. Yeah. Or or even Minority Report again with Minority Report. But then you, you think about the implications, I think, of this stuff, and I think, how can law enforcement use that? You know, how can the government use that? Because they're selling to, they're selling to the big boys. They're not selling to us first. They're selling to the masses right. before they get to us, before it trickles down to us. I mean, drones were used by movies and by, by military way before us. Yeah, I, so there's, yeah, questions about, um, so one interesting thing with like law enforcement is law enforcement, there's always been this kind of balance between the scale of law enforcement and the scale of the population. And when that power is switched with like technology basically, it's, it's kind of scary. Um, yeah. the, the other disturbing thing was, it's like the average American spends 300 hours per year in their car. Imagine if they were consuming our content or ads. <laughs> like, is that really what we want? <laughs> well, Alexa's in the car now, so you can have a conversation with Alexa, or is are you telling Alexa, hey, answer the phone for me, send this guy a message, um, I don't know. I don't know what Alexa can do. Instead of you fiddling with the radio, you talk to Alexa to do it for you. Yeah. There's Which some, you can do that now, right? The, yeah. There's some exciting things that I think will make life better, but there's like this weird part of me that's like worried about the moral decay of society just we're going further and further into our phones and less and less with Well, that's why you, that's why you have Meetup and you have, you know, you have Facebook and stuff like that. It's, it's, well, they have 
they have groups on Facebook that people meet and stuff. I wonder if we'll see a populist uprising against like technology. Of course, of course, of course you will. But it's uh, it's kind of poo pooed right now. I mean, those are old fuddy duddies, people my age or people older than me. Like, ah, they just don't get the technology. Yes and no. You you get you get younger people too who are concerned about privacy and don't want their information to be sold, but still enjoy all the, the technical. The problem is, is because you're being watched by cameras that you can't see, um, and you know the, your credit card tells you where you're shopping. You're being followed. Your data. You're being data mined, whether you like it or not. True. If you use any of Google's products, that's certainly the case. Okay. What did you think about? Um, well, I thought it was interesting. The kind of scary too is that they are making products for children to train them to use the technology now. Right. It's like taking your kid to Disney World. You go to Disney World as a child so that when you grow up, you keep going to Disney World and you take your kids. If you give the kids a ball that's got technology or you can create ridges on a cell phone that excites children, that makes them the slave to the phone, a slave to the computer. Yeah. The Matrix. So it's, in, it's incumbent upon parents to like teach Be responsible. You mean the same parents that give the kid an iPad in the restaurant so you shut the F up? Those parents? Hopefully the next generation will be, just like your generation is better at disciplining children or under being more community, the generation after you will be so immersed in this electronics and everything that they will look for that green space, look for that quiet, because there's so much noise. Yeah. And hopefully that's being taught in some philosophy classes or stuff like that. So let's just hope that they're getting sick of it and they're looking for the opposite, which is the quiet. The quiet in, in the quiet in the quiet. So Yeah. But so, it's hard to make money with the quiet. <laughs> oh, I'm sure they'll find a way. But I'm gonna be curious as that what we've seen today, what they consider the best because of Twitter feeds, because of what consumers are pick, taking pictures of, if in reality we feel the same way, or do we think that there's other products out there that we thought was the best of? So that's gonna be interesting to talk about later tonight and tomorrow. After we get on the floor. Yeah, after we get on the floor for a couple hours and we see what we like and and see if what they pros are 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 really in touch with what the consumers pro marketers pro marketers and salesmen. Well, they do marketing and something else. Oh, advertising. But I think it's interesting that you got to wonder where their priorities are. They're trying to push their own agenda to these marketers that may not that may not be actually what's good for the consumer. It's good for their those people exactly. and who they're answering to. And who yep. sponsored this event, you know? Exactly. It's always about the spin, man. Follow the money. It's all good. Good times. Paul Bart. Sound Bart. <laughs> you got your thing? What? You got the little... <laughs> no, 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 oh, no, I didn't no. post. Oh. It's okay. Cool. Anything else? All right. Looking forward to the rest of the day. To be continued. Yep.